And we've got all of these signs up here on this front gate. There's no trespassing, a video surveillance, and then a stop sign that's posted up here as well. For a place that's been closed since the early 2000s, there's still a lot of traffic that's rolling up to this old plant. I've had people roll up personally in their car and say, I heard there's money to be made scrapping out here, and I say, no, not today. It's James Getter's job to keep a watch over the old metal factory at night. And lately, he says there's been no shortage of work. 40? Oh yeah, people come all the time. People come all the time. He's one of two new patrolmen working the area. This old aluminum plant stopped running in 2000, but its new owners say they've been getting some unwanted business. Uh, lots of people from nice people who are just photographers to people who aren't so nice. Including those looking to snag some leftover copper. The metal out of the buildings and pipes. So that's why James is here. He often stays overnight on the 170 acre property, spending hours patrolling the area. And we do fence patrols, walk patrols all the way through the buildings out here and pretty much the whole property. He and one other guard are also installing security cameras and LED lights to help keep a better eye on the area. There's doors that are open that weren't open, fences that are pieces of wood that moved. So we set certain booby traps, certain areas and that are high traffic. Getter says they'll be doing these patrols for most of the remodeling process. He says the owners want to make the area into a manufacturing spot for several companies. But this could take a while. I'd say at least five years, honestly, for the cleanup. I mean, at least. So until then, he'll be walking the perimeter and making his rounds. In Mead, Sheena Waltower, Crime 2 News.